What's up, Paul? I just want to do a quick review on this Fantic V9 Slim. It's a portable vacuum. I haven't opened it yet, so it's going to be kind of real time. So I was looking for a portable vacuum for my car, but my Dysons are expensive. So I wanted to see if I can get something else. So let's see what it comes with. Cover. Hopefully a vacuum. Let's see. Other thing. Instructions. This is going to be a nozzle for it. Secondary brush. All of that is just to see what you get. There's an actual vacuum there. This is probably a battery or remote. Oh, more nozzles. Alright, so let's start with the vacuum. Let's see. It's Fantic. Never used anything in Fantic, but people seem to like it. That's yeah, cool, okay. Super light, so that's nice. It's locked right down. And let's see what the accessories are. So here is a nozzle. It's your extension for your vacuum. This is, and it comes wrapped nicely. I mean, they're a little tiny, like trash baggy thing. Yeah, kind of nice. This is another end for the vacuum. In there. I'm assuming this is just all multiple ends into here. I don't see a charger. That's interesting. But let's see. I'm assuming this just uses anything to charge. Oh, a little brush end. Okay, here's the charger. Over there. This is a tiny brush that you can clean things with. I'm just I'm guessing how your vacuum just clean out the crap. Okay. Oh yeah. I believe if I'm not mistaken, this has a blower tool as well. I should have read more. I totally forgot what's in this, but we're gonna find out together. Yeah, I think these are all blowing tools. All right, so I'm gonna charge it, and I'll get back to you and see what I can find out. All right, so for charging purposes, it just kind of uses a standard USB-C charger. This shows you over here what your charging level is. I'll do a mini demonstration right now. It comes about half charge when you get it, so you can try to use it for a little bit. All right, so this is just a mini demonstration of how you use it. I'm gonna actually go in the car and show you what to do. Uh, so there's two sides to it. Suction side and blowing side. This is where the vent is, so. Either or kind of works. Um, how you turn it on, just hold the power button. This is your power button right here. So it's two settings for that. So you've got your low speed, and you press your power button again, high speed. And so the suction side is this side, and the blowing side is here. So you can do both of the same device. So let me show you. So we've got multiple attachments here. This is going to be to clean your car. So the more practical one for me is probably going to be, let's see, this guy. And then maybe this. Sorry. So this is going to be my suction side. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is going to be my suction side. This is going to be my blower side here. So I believe you can kind of do it at the same time. I'll find out. So it's your blower side. You can't really see. Well, maybe you can. There's a little bit of tense over here. So you can push this in and turn. And that locks it in. So, suction, blower. So I'm going to turn it on. So out of this side, and I get some suction. On this side, well, to be honest, you're going to want to keep this out of here. So your blower blows air over here. It's occurring to me that you can't use both at the same time. So, take this guy off, and then my suction side is way better. It's obviously going to pull through here, so you want to keep as much into here. So, we're going to go test this as a vacuum. I'll take you guys outside, but, I mean, I'll turn them off. There seems to be numerous attachments for all this stuff, which is really nice. Charger, you've got three blower devices, you know, two, three suction devices, which is really nice. And then for cleaning, 
It doesn't seem super hard. You got the little button right here. Press that. I'm supposed to lock this, so I'll show you that. Close. Lock. That's it. Your filter's in there. Everything just kind of drops out the front side. But I, mean, I think the most important thing is to try to figure out if it's really good at actually sucking stuff up. So let's go to my car and we'll test it right there. I this one-handed, so I apologize, but let's see how the suction works over here. I have no carpet in, or I have no floor mats in right now, so I'm just gonna try this. Turn it on, hold your power button. Let's see. Yeah, it works. There's really not a crazy amount of suction. You can see, otherwise it'd be pulling the carpet up. But, yeah, it works. I don't know, I tried the blower side and that seems to be way better, but yeah. that was something that was, I believe, like 70 or 80 bucks. Yeah, it's not bad, compared to like a nice one. It's not a crazy amount of suction, you can see. It's not like a one pack for everything. But, I'm still the You guys don't need to not to be in this entire thing. So I'm gonna just vacuum up this whole thing and I'm sure what it looks like now. All right, I have noticed that if you don't use the giant extension, if you just use the little tiny guy and the brush right here, which is what I'd use for carpet, it's a little bit better. So, just use it back and forth. It's obviously the extension. Sorry about the camera shaking. My stupid tripod didn't fit in here. This isn't bad, honestly. Like I said, it's no Dyson. Dysons have crazy suction in comparison, but for, I don't know, a third the cost or whatever it is, it's not a horrible thing. Let's get all the dust over here. Once I move this stupid cup. All right. All right. Yeah, all the dust over there. Yeah, it's nice. This is a good little thing for, like I said, the price. It's definitely not bad. The blower seems to be the really strong portion though. But let me show you how to use that real quick. What I want to show you is the blower attachment. This guy right here. There's, I think, two or three different attachments you get with this. This kind of turns the, you know, essentially the vent out of your vacuum into a blowing device, which is kind of genius to be perfectly honest. So I'm just going to show you how that works. So you just hold on. It's kind of the same. You just, it's the same operation. You just put something on here, which, you know, kind of just isolates the air coming out of this. So hold. My low speed. Just blowing stuff out. For this kind of stuff, for these small spaces, it's really good. All the dust that builds up on the air. You can see everything flying around. This is honestly awesome. The dusting tool is better than this tool. Use this over here. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this seems to do a good job. Let's look at the door sockets here and here. Just look at a whole bunch of dust out. This is definitely the best part of the tool. I mean, the vacuum's good, don't get me wrong, but this is a great little tool to clean. Look at all this. Clean your vents. You clean everything with it. Slices, dices, it does whatever you need. Uh, it does use a lot of power, though. That's what I've noticed, but minus that. Not really this. If you use the high setting, it really burns through the power. I was on three bars, and I haven't even finished cleaning my car yet. But, yeah, I mean, I think the device is really great overall. It's really nice to have a vacuum and, you know, a blower in one tool. And I honestly can't remember the price. Off the top of my head, I think it was like 70 or 80 bucks. But I'd recommend it, to be perfectly honest. As a vacuum, it's okay. But the fact that it does vacuum and has a blower tool, it's it's pretty good, in my opinion. And I would pay the 80 bucks for it. So if you guys like videos like this, you can feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions about the product, you can feel free to ask me. I'll be using it for a little bit. And I appreciate it. Thank you.